Hey, what's up everybody? Frank Welkiri, welcome to the channel. I told you, I told you, right? I was waiting for something official to come out from uh, Johnny Depp's team. And here we go. This is in response to all those motions that uh, the defendant has released in the past weeks. And as you can see here, it says July 11. John T. Frey, Clerk, Circuit Court, Firefax, Virginia. Uh, Johnny C. Depp, A. L. H. So let's read it together and see what's up here, right? You know that A. H. Teams has uh, filed those uh, motions to dismiss the entire trial on the basis either the juror number 15 and the time before about, you know, that was unfair the money that she needed to pay. And here we have, let's read it together. Let's go. Plaintiff motion to strike defendants out of time supplemental memorandum in support of her post trial motions. Plaintiff John C. Depp II. Eh? I didn't know that. Actually, by now I know, but it's funny to read it. Uh, by and through his undersigned counsel hereby moves this honorable court to strike defendant's supplement memorandum in support of her post-trial motion supplemental memorandum stating as follow argument that argument defendant h filing is untimely pursuant to the court discretion miss h deadline for submitting her post-trial motion fell on july 1 2022 one full month after the jury rendered its verdict it is undisputed that miss h did not file her supplemental memorandum until the afternoon of july 8 2022 one week late and only fewer than three days before plaintiff step deadline for submitting his opposition to defendant post-trial motion due on monday july 11 by no later than 10 a.m wow there was really a time frame which uh, she seemed not to have respected, which is quite interesting in terms of the technicality of the legality. Huh? Look at that. We got rhymes going on today. Through the form, defendant neither notified plaintiff or her forthcoming supplemental memorandum, nor sought leave of court for filing, filing it on full week out of time. Because Miss H filed late and without leave of court, the court should grant plaintiff motion to strike. So this reason seems to be enough to dismiss this motion, basically. Miss H has had access to the purported, purported new facts months ago in her supplemental memorandum. Miss H does not because she cannot make any proffer as to why she could not have discovered the new facts until now. This is because the clerk's office provided the pre-panel jury list to the parties back on April 6, 2022, more than two months ago and five days before the jury was empaneled. So, again, this is in regards of the juror 15 and the date of birth, mishap, and so on and so forth, that they called the mistrial on. Imagine that. In a rare moment of candor, Miss H admits that she was aware. <laughs> In a rare moment of candor. I love that. This this is Ben Cho writing. Cho, you get a thumbs up. So, in a rare moment of candor, Miss H admits that she was aware of the purported discrepancy in Juror 15's birth year from the very start of the trial because Juror 15 was clearly born later than 1945, Mott at 40. Uh, Miss H therefore concedes she had more than enough time before the trial started and during the six-week trial when at least two alternates were available to investigate and discover the alleged new fact Clearly, Miss H waived any right to allege new facts she chose not to investigate for so long, much less to demand to extraordinary, re uh, extraordinary remedy of a mistrial. So again, it seems that the mishap was true of the juror number 15, but it also, like many lawyers have said, this doesn't seem like to be a, a reason to, uh, to have a, a, a new trial. And uh, here, 
uh, Ben Cho, whoever is writing, is telling us that they had enough time, you know, the defendant, had, they had enough time to go through this, they chose not to. I wonder why. So, even if Miss H had filed her supplemental memorandum in a timely manner, which she did not, and even had she not waived her right to raise this alleged issue by sitting on information for more than two months, which she did, the court should still grant plaintiff's motion to strike defend the supplemental memorandum because Miss H failed to city any unfair prejudice. Citi, city? Even assuming arguendo, Miss H laid a thesis um, that a son served instead of his father, there would be no prejudice as juror 15 was qualified to serve as a juror in Fairfax County and was vetted by the court and the parties counsel just as all of the other juror were. So, exactly, even with the person being the son or whatever the theory, he was still, right, allowed to be there because he was qualified to do so. So, again, disproving that there was anything carried out against her, you know, Based on the foregoing, the court should grant plaintiff motion and strike defendant's supplemental memorandum. So, uh, defendant seems to have abandoned her prior baseless assertion made both by Miss H and her counsel on national television that Jujuro violated their oaths by watching social media during the trial, which in turn influenced their verdict. Disgraceful that Miss H made such scandalous allegation and disappointing that not apologies and rec recantation followed. So, ah, they're punching back right there. They're like, hey, shame on you for going on TV and uh, making a fuss out of the jury. At the same time, also trying to keep the name of the jury sealed for a year. Uh, wow, I wonder why. Honestly, I think they did it in their interest to keep the name of the jury closed because like, because like this, all the jury could not have come forward and basically tell their side of the story, depicting her like for the, yeah, for the person that she is, right? So this is quite interesting, very short, concise. And I assume because on the other side, they're quicker to respond. I'm almost like feeling there is already some response coming forward, like BAM! So let's stay tuned. I also am curious to see how long it takes for an official a statement or whatever they have to do, the court in this case, right? I'm sure the court now has to say either denied, approved, one of those things that uh, will give uh, credence, will give value to all this paper filed. So let's stay tuned and see what happens and again another slap metaphoric slap in the face of the defendant's team right so guys thank you so much for the support you know that i'm so incredibly grateful i'm doing also the videos if you're curious eh? please subscribe i would really appreciate that and i talk to you later Sha. Woo.